I'm here in the fertilizer aisle at the Rochester, New Hampshire Blue Seal store. The fertilizer aisle can be one of the most confusing places for any grower, whether you're a home grower with a couple of plants on the deck or you're a commercial grower, either an indoor greenhouse grower, a grow chamber grower, or a farmer. Understanding fertilizers is very difficult. We're not going to be talking about the science of fertilizers today. We've done that in a couple other videos. What I'm trying to do today is just give you a really strong reminder to do something very critical and that's to have your water tested before we go into the next grow season why do you want to have your water tested because when you look at fertilizers you're going to see bags and bottles with all sorts of different numbers some people think you just buy the fertilizer that has the highest numbers it's not that simple the different numbers represent different stages of plant growth and different types of plants. Lettuce needs different fertilizer at different levels than tomatoes, than peppers, than geraniums. So the numbers just indicate what the formulation is. You've heard me many times tell you that you shouldn't be putting anything on your soil or in your containers unless you have a reason for doing it. That reason being that what you're putting in is actually needed by the plant. Having your soil tested in your garden is critical because we don't want to be putting on uh, nitrogen or phosphorus or potassium if your plants don't need it. You put too much on, it ends up in the water stream and we end up uh, uh, polluting all of our waterways. So why do we want to test our water? All of these fertilizer formulations will relate to the type of plant and the growth stage of the plant, but also every fertilizer has to act in conjunction with the chemistry of the water. We don't know that without testing, just like we don't know what to put on our garden soil without doing a soil test. There are three reasons why we want to have your water tested. One is it's good for your plants. Again, we just want to be giving the plants exactly what they need. We give too much, we can cause toxicity, or the excess runs down into the, uh, the ground and into the waterways. We give too little, and we're going to have suboptimal production and suboptimal quality. So it's good for your plants. It's good for the environment. Like we said, if you give too much of anything, it's ending up in the, um, in the soil and the waterways. Third, it's good for your wallet. Fertilizer is really expensive now, so any excess fertilizer that you put on, you might as well be just throwing your money away. So we want to have our water tested. What do you get when you have your water tested? I'm putting up an example of a, uh, a water analysis uh, result from the Jacks Laboratory. As a scientist and an advisor to you as a grower, I can look at this and then we can make the recommendations for the exact fertilizer um, formulation that you need. How do you get your water tested? Very simple. I've told you many times, I don't represent any companies. I don't get monetized. Um, I don't have any ads, no, uh, no paybacks from companies. When I mention products, it's because they're based in science and like with the Jacks product, I use it in my commercial operation because it's based on science and it's a very good uh, value for your dollar. I use the Jacks lab because they get um, they give you back a really comprehensive um, analysis result that we as scientists can look at and then make um, recommendations to you. So you can just go into your Blue Seal store or you can go directly to the Jacks lab. If you come into the store, you're going to get three parts. A sample collection bottle, directions on how to take the sample, and it's, it's very simple, and a mailing envelope. It won't cost you anything to get the kit at the store. If you decide to have the test done, to take the test and send it in, you just enclose a check and it's somewhere in the $40 range. But as a scientist, I will tell you it's probably the best $40 that you can invest in your grow operation. So spring's coming, whether you're growing inside or outside and you're applying fertilizer, have your soil tested if you're a garden um, grower, 
but if you're fertilizing fertigation in a greenhouse or using fertigation in your field, have your water tested so we can uh, pick the best formulation for your plant, for the environment, and for your wallet. So remember, as always, you need to know what your plants need to grow.